Do you remember this project? I am Busy Bee from Germany. I'm a long time collector and a Barbie dog for almost 10 years. This channel is more than just your one-stop Barbie repair workshop. Today I would like to tell you the story how this Frenzy Let's Dance dress project continued in the last weeks. This video is for my sewing enthusiasts and curious viewers who waited for this video. It's not a one-to-one -one instruction to follow. Nope, let me know if you want to have one in the comments below. I want to encourage you here, even if things last longer than expected, don't give up. You continue until you have the solution. This is more from my personal creative side than from my Barbie dog in me. I started this project one and a half year ago with this project. I'm going to link you the first video of my series above and I was not able to find my mistake in the last year, so I stopped. And I was a little bit frustrated because I wanted to continue here and I did not see immediately my mistake, but I continued to learn and in this video I would like to tell you where I made mistakes and how I discovered them and what I changed within two days after finding my mistakes. Let me know how you find your mistakes when you are suing in the comments. I admit long sleeves are still relatively new to me and I know how to attach them to the bodies with a separate sleeve but this two-piece thing here is still relatively new to me but I, I played around with it and found a solution how to not perfect the fine tuning will follow later, but for a test it's okay. So after improving my understanding of how to make the bodies fit to Francie's body, I designed the top and the back that you already see, long sleeve, long body. Since I had only one photo of the whole dress, I had the problem to continue there last year. After a really long research in 2021, I found more pics and the solution to the problem. All my designs here work, but only one of them comes close to the original Let's Dance dress. Why? Well, the Frenzy Let's Dance has exactly the same cut like the Barbie version of it, but it is only very hard to see when you have just only one pic. So in my opinion, the doll must wear it and you must see both front and back side to understand it. Frenzy also has a cummerbund like Barbie, but it's hidden under a border, a gross gain ribbon, and that's what caused the problems here. After understanding my mistake, I redesigned my draft immediately and started to make a bodies without sleeves just for the reason of testing and seeing if my design idea worked out correctly or not. All I had to do here was making the bodies itself shorter and then add the cummerbund under the body's top part. In this design the darts are much shorter because the cummerbund in the fills out a part of the bodies. It's only a very short cummerbund but it's hidden there hidden somehow and that was my mistake in my former drafts. I simply did not know that this thing existed. This has of course an impact on the design. You have to change it to make enough room for the cummerbund. So my second top was much shorter but the design was successful. The idea proved to be the right one and this time I was on the right way. A short top without sleeves made it easier to test my idea here. This whole video was made from a very spontaneous mood. Hey, come, sew with me. Let's see if my idea is the right one or not. But as you can see, it is the right idea and the top is fitting frenzy, although the first the back part is too short here to attach it completely to the cummerbund. Sorry for this little mistake. 
hey, but I'm also learning by doing. Nothing about a good challenge here. You can't grow when you do every day what you already can do. That's not what will lead us to any goal. So challenge accepted and back into the sewing jungle again. The new idea was totally right and for reasons of demonstrations I hurried up, made another draft, this time with long sleeved sleeves and improved my back part as well as my cummerbund. The whole dining table was full of greaseproof paper rests, paper grass and sewing equipment. Right after starting to film, yay, then the battery of my cam was empty and I changed the cam. Always expect your battery to be empty or your SD card to be full. Let me know your stories about such unexpected things. I know these things happen and I definitely need two double battery chargers for all my cams. Sorry, but I want to cheer you up here a little bit. I have more than one camera for exactly this reason, but not all of them have double chargers. So the draft is done and let's see how this top fits Frenzy here. Just give me a minute to dress her. After the last draft proved to be the right track, I spontaneously cut a skirt and attached it to the top part here, just for seeing how this fits Francie. I think the draft is okay. Of course, it's not perfect here and it was never planned to be, but I think it's okay for a starting point and for further improvements. Things I want to improve are my sleeves. The mobility is limited here, but I have an idea how to fix this. Then I have to improve my cummerbund, still too short here, but the back part also needs some adjustments, but all in all it worked out like I have hoped. Although my dress is not perfect here, I must say I'm satisfied here with my draft. What about you? I hope you like my little video, I hope you could see how easy it is to make the bodies fit to Francis' body, that it's no problem to adjust your drafts when you are sewing here. What are your experiences with improving your own drafts or designs? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you share, like and subscribe. See you in the next weeks. Your Bisbee from Germany. Bye.